Hi everyone, Tristan Gardner here. You probably know me as an aspiring voiceover artist, but I also like to collect chiming clocks as a hobby. So, I'm going to show you the contents of this clock and what they look like. So I'm going to try and take this clock out of its protective casings and out of this bubble wrap here, and I'm going to show you what the contents of this clock look like. So it'll take me just a minute or two. Oh boy. Okay, I think that takes care of the hard part. So now we are going to see about looking at the contents of this clock here. Fortunately, this clock comes with the key, which is used to wind the keyholes on this clock, which you will see very shortly. <clears throat> And these pieces of foam help keep the clock face intact. And I counted at least two, but I'm sure there'll be at least two more here. So let's see if I'm right. There's one. There's one here. And ooh, there's another one. There's two. Actually, that's a half. And there's ooh, more pieces of foam than I thought there were. Oh, well, I see that there are a lot of pieces pieces of foam here. When packaging a clock, it's very important to keep everything intact, including the chime rods and the clock face and the clock hands intact, too. Hmm. There are more pieces of foam. So there are at least seven, eight pieces of foam, big and small. So as you can see, this clock face has three keyholes. The left one is for the strike, the middle one is for the time, and the one on the right represents the chime. And as you can tell, I don't know if you can see it yet, but I will go ahead and point out the chimes to you. It's got a silent feature, but it also has a choice of Westminster chimes, St. Michael chimes, and Whittington chimes. Actually, it's called St. Michael's chimes. Westminster, St. Michael's, and Whittington chimes. And this, com and this clock is from the Linden Clock Company. This clock was made in approximately 1982. But I do not know whether that's the actual date or whether it's just my guess. I'm guessing that this was made in 1982. I've seen a similar clock on YouTube, but my guess is this clock is, was made by the Linden Clock Company back in 1982. So, that being said, I'm going to show you the other side, which is where the movement is. You have to be very careful while moving this clock. And we'll see what's in there. Ooh. A lot of stuff is in there, including more bubble wrap and more pieces of foam. Let's see what it sounds like when I try and remove that stuff. Ooh. Ooh, very nice sounds. So I'm going to see about removing this from here. You have to be very careful to keep the chime rods and chime hammers intact. So, now I'm going to go ahead and wind up the clock after I close this up. So that's what I'm going to do here. I'm going to close this up. I'm going to close this up and then I'll get back to you. Okay, I got the protective foam out of the clock case, so I'm going to start winding the clock. I'm going to wind the middle one first, and that's for the time. Usually, by the first crank, when you wind that clock by the first crank, it usually starts up automatically, since this is a floating balance movement. So, I see that it's already been wound, so I'm going to go ahead and turn the clock around again, and get the balance wheel to go, and that should get the rest of the clock to go. So, we will go ahead and turn this gently and go ahead and get the floating balance going. I'm going to go ahead and turn this around. And I'm going 
going to see if the other two hole keyholes need to be wound up too. I'm going to go ahead and go ahead and wind these up using the key. That one's okay. I'm going to go ahead and wind these up. Okay. And we'll go ahead and set this to a quarter till. Hmm. Hmm. Something's catching the mechanism off guard. Let's see what it looks like. Hmm. 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 Okay, it looks like it's working now, so I'm going to go ahead and give it some test runs through the chimes. I think the movement may be a little stiff, but we'll see. I'm going to switch this to Westminster, because that's the chime I'm most familiar with. We'll see if that works. Well, folks, there you have it. Not in complete detail, but it's my Linden triple chime bracket clock. Plays Westminster, Whittington, and St. Michael's chimes. I will go ahead and enjoy this clock for now, and I will post a more complete detailed version of this clock at a later point in time. But for now, I will let you get a, get a look of the movement. As you know, it is the floating balance movement. has eight chime hammers and eight chime rods. Thanks for watching and I will see you again next time.